Wow, what happened to this guy's hand? Well, I can tell you, a black widow spider was here. Hi, I'm Janice Crenetti. I've been teaching environmental science and working out in the environmental field for over 20 years, and I've encountered my share of spiders. Since moving to Florida, I have to be especially careful about encountering the black widow spider. Black widow spider is fairly famous for its occasional habit of eating the female eating its male counterpart after mating. But the real issue with black spider, that black widow spiders is their venom. Their venom is one of the most potent venoms in animals on the earth. Hard to believe because the black widow spider itself is actually not that large, but it can do a lot of damage. The venom in a black widow spider is called a neurotoxin, and what that means is that it's a, it's a chemical that can go to work on the nerve cells and actually, if not properly treated, cause permanent nerve damage. You can see the site of the bite is pretty small, but the swelling is covering the whole thumb and even into the hand. That's what tends to happen with these black widow spider bites. The other thing about venom is that unlike other body fluids, it moves through the body very slowly. Circulation can actually be important for helping to clear up the bite. If you get bitten by a black widow spider, it's best to seek treatment immediately. Now, if this bite is very severe or if there have been multiple bites, they may have to administer, some, administer something that's called antivenin. And basically what that is is a chemical that helps to combat the venom that's been injected by the black widow spider. Now, the antivenin that's produced from, for black widow spiders is actually made in horses. They take spider venom, inject it into horses, the horses build up the serum, they remove that from the horses and inject it into people. If that sounds a little bit strange, well, it is. And in fact, human beings can sometimes have pretty negative reactions from the injection of the antivenin as well. So medical personnel are only going to use that in absolute worst case scenarios. If the injection, if the bite isn't too bad, they'll probably treat it with hot, cold compresses and serious strong painkillers until your body's able to process the venom out on its own. If you encounter a black widow spider in the wild, they're the ones with the black body and the red hourglass shape on their belly, it's best to stay as far away as possible so that you can keep yourself out of the emergency room. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is the aftermath of a black widow spider.